Yo, hello traders, it's your one and only Forex Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you all here today on this one. Okay, guys, uh, if you observe, I'm on a trade, and the trade is currently $290 and still counting. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how I took the tr how I took the trade and uh, the things I looked at and the things I observed before I took the trade. I'm going to teach you how I use multiple time frame and the, my indicator strategy and my support and resistance strategy, how I put them all together in order to take this trade and even keep holding it up to the level that it is right now. Because as you can see, this is the lowest lot size of crash 1000 and yet we're having 74 dollars how is that even possible that's because i've been holding this trade for the past three days okay so i'll be showing you the reason why i held the trade the reason why i'm and, and what i'm doing to keep holding it and what i anticipate to keep doing for the meantime all right but before we proceed traders if this is your first time on my channel could you do me a little favor smash the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you'll be the first to get notified in my next video because you don't want to miss out a single thing right here in bullish by fx academy all we post are contents that help you win in the financial market we post weekly analysis we post a lot of strategies and we post a lot of wonderful content you don't want to miss so hit the subscribe button turn the bell good all right so let me slant my phone horizontally so that you all have a bigger screen now i have created a youtube channel strictly for price action traders those of you who want to learn price action just price action no indicator you want to learn how to trade the market how to analyze the market how to take entries like a professional in the markets whether you're a beginner or you're a pro and you just want to uh, learn and improve your knowledge all right i've created a new youtube channel that's going to be strictly for price action which you want to make sure that you'll be part of it all right now the link is going to be on the description of this video you click the link and make sure you subscribe to the channel turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss any single price action video that i'll be posting there link is on the description right now or you can search for bullish bear fx b2p all right you can see it on the screen bullish bear fx b2p and you subscribe to it and wait for videos that i'll be posting for you guys every single day all right all right guys so now we're here now first of all this is how i took this trade as you all already know i use my support and resistance uh, uh strategy and uh what i do recently nowadays is i don't like uh soiling my chart so much with a lot of lines and all the rest once i have done my analysis and found out my zone of interest what i do is once i place my trade i delete every other thing except the place where i took my trade from all right that's what i do just to have a cleaner screen and to observe my trade properly that's what i do okay so as you all can see you get to observe that i took this trade as exactly at my point of interest which was where you can see here was a previous resistance in the past to it almost turned support here okay and then when i saw the way the price came on and moved on and was coming gradually up to this critical zone of the past then i placed that trade having my stop loss right above okay remember your risk management is always crucial trader you must make sure you apply risk management okay so i applied my stop loss right above taking my trade opening uh four positions or is it about five positions or so and then price began the move okay now why have i been holding this trade when price came out to this way okay we can see clearly that this was another support actually here was another support okay you can see that here was another support so when price came here i knew very well that it's going to go up so what i did as a trader you remember i tell you guys that while you're trading okay you always want to log profits gradually i always teach you guys that all right unless maybe you're a new uh you're, you're new to our channel here you always observe i always tell you lock your profits but when you're locking profits don't lock profits so close to the mouth of the price give mount uh, give price a breathing space you know i always say that so what i do is as price is going in my favor i keep locking profit gradually but giving price a breathing space so when i saw price at this era at this zone I knew very well that it's really going to come up. So having my stop loss just somewhere around here, okay, and observing if it gets, if it goes higher than that and he's a stop loss, no problem, okay. But I just had my stop loss right 
above here at that time okay and not just that the reason why i had another confident about it is i observe using multiple time frame that remember i told you guys i will talk to you i will talk to you about multiple time frame analysis okay using my multiple time frame analysis so with my multiple time frame analysis i could just see clearly that man here is another zone in the future that price might likely want to come over to meet here so i was just like this move might likely not be so much or even if it ends up coming back up i might likely uh take it as an opportunity to have what we call a double top i think i would just have to minimize my indicator until when we get there okay all right so i just had this belief that since this is another zone in the future that price can come to meaning that this move uh, might not just be an original move there's every tendency that it can turn back and at the end of the day i was just optimistic about it and i was just like okay even if he ends up wanting to go back and hit my stop loss and takes me out in profit in little profit i will still take another entry here why because i will have to believe that this should be a word first top and here should be a second top to the push okay so but uh to god be the glory when price got here it started turning in my favor and then eventually it broke out of that wonderful zone and you get to observe that even when it came here due to the force of the bears they pushed down and they had to retest because that zone is a significant zone you see this zone is a significant zone and that was why they needed to respect it retested and they kept on moving so now having price keeping uh keep on moving and me having my indicator strategy on the other hand having price doing what it's doing and me observing from my indicator strategy i can see price going in my favor and oh yes okay now looking at my four hour time frame okay you can see clearly that in the four hour time frame here is the mere move now observing from my indicator okay you can you can see from the four hour time frame that uh where i took this trade actually was from the overbought okay so looking at it i can see clearly that price is still on his way going to oversold price is still on his way going to oversold so with that i have the confidence that if i can keep holding this trade i can keep holding it up to this level for here is going to be the oversold of this entire move you can see here all right now you should understand the logic behind overbought and oversold overbought and oversold understand the logic behind it overbought and oversold simply means this this was a buying session all right all the way from here we can see clearly that it was what bullish so it was a buying session it was a buying period of time all the way okay so the this going on a bullish move meaning that there's always going to be a selling time for that bullish move for instance you go to the market and you buy goods now what do you do you bought goods why are you buying goods because you want to sell all right so you want to sell meaning that if you sell you want to make profits is that not the case so this is exactly the same thing happening here economics is also applying here in this forex market this was the buying section so there have to be a selling section for all these things that were bought so this e from here to here from here to here is the selling uh, period of this buying session therefore we can always call this oversold session okay so that's just the logic about trading okay you have, you buy to sell all right you sell to buy you buy low you sell high i hope you're getting what i mean okay you sell from high you sell from high you buy from low okay so you can always make profit that's just a simple that's just a simple logic okay guys so now i was observing this and seeing clearly that from this overbought level price was busy going bearish so i kept on holding confidently because i knew that it has to get to this oversold and as we all can see clearly when it got to oversold what's happening the bulls are beginning to push up gradually gradually and that's why you see that if you observe i already have my stop loss right here because man i'm not ready to lose anything again okay i've made a lot of profit and therefore i'm not ready to lose so much again that's why you see i have my stop loss right above here and if i go to the 15 minute time frame you can see where my stop loss is my stop loss is actually far away 
I just have this belief that price can get here, here, all right, and turn back, or even here, even here, because as we can see, this is actually a an important zone also in the markets. I'm coming. Let me get my arrow. As we can see, this is also an important zone in the market for the 15 minute time frame. We could see it was once a support and it's on resistance. And you see, and when price came here, it struggled. So it is every tendency that when it gets here, it might begin the continuous move again. Okay. And then probably as we all know that when the when that move continues, this is where I anticipate that it's coming to, which is here. Here. Right. So this is actually my final destination, actually. But if price decides it wants to keep going up, let no problem. You can hit my stop loss, no issue. I've taken a lot of profit already. Okay. But I just have this belief that it must certainly get here. So you, this is the way I keep using my support and resistance to analyze where markets can turn from and where market might likely get to okay support and resistance simple strategy and then applying it together with the indicator that i've given you guys buying from oversold selling from overbought so what makes this strategy beautiful and unique is when you find price at overboard and you have made your analysis and found price also at your resistance trader is a good time to place a sell confidently set your stop loss and let what happen what will happen happen okay let what will happen happen you you need to understand something the indicator that i'm giving you guys all right is not just uh a mag uh, setting okay. the indicator setting i'm giving you guys here is actually made up with divergence okay divergence and momentum of price now what do i mean by divergence divergence i've taught you guys before divergence of course when there is uh, a low pressure in the market or when there is a high pressure in the market or when there is an error in the market when things are not going as it ought to go in the market then you that's where you find divergence all right we can see a lot of traders in the community they keep on posting and posting a lot the, the bullish bear community every, a lot of traders are trading and winning every single day if you want to be part of the traders community all right if you want to be part of my the bullish bear forest traders community tra don't hesitate to chat me up on telegram so you can get all all you need to be part of the community okay so now these are the settings we have relative strength index to be 14 we have applied to close under your levels we have 10 12 14 15 then we have 90 86 and 88 then you want to put your style any color you want okay and then once you're done you click on done then for the uh force index we have period to be 13 method to be simple volume tick okay make your volume to be tick and not real then under the style you put whatever color you desire and you click done so divergence the setting of this indicator uh, includes divergence so with the help of divergence you're able to understand that the oversold and the overbought you see price creating here is not just an ordinary or is not is not even working together with normal price movement is working with divergence is working with momentum the speed in the in the price movements i don't know if you guys really understand what i mean by divergence if you want me to explain more about divergence in my next video you just leave a comment below and i will talk and i will talk critically about it in my next video for you guys okay so with that with much being said all right that's a simple way trader buy from sell from oversold buy from overbought but before you sell or buy from this overbought or oversold make sure that you've done your analysis and make sure that the overbought and oversold of this indicator rhymes together with your analysis meaning you only sell from overbought if you see price at your resistance on your main charts okay and what you only buy from oversold of your indicator if you truly saw price at your uh support level like for instance i'm seeing that this price is at oversold here overbought here sorry oversold here if if for instance i wanted to sell i would only sell if this price really got to this line which i have my su support because if it doesn't get to this line it doesn't look genuine to me yes i know for sure or that price has gotten to oversold yes good but it hasn't gotten to my support so i'm still not confident about it unless i just want to give it a try okay but if i want to be confident about it i will have to wait for it to get to my support so imagine if it got to my support and it also was at oversold 
I would confidently buy. Do you get the logic, trader? So what I'm trying to tell you right now is that as since this price has not gotten to this over uh, my support completely, there is every tendency that this move you're seeing here might still turn back down and come back again because it needs to complete this move. It has to get to this over uh, this support level. So traders, I hope you really understood what I just taught you. If you really understand it, comment, I understood. And if you have any question, drop another comment also. Don't forget to join my price action YouTube channel, which is bullish bear FX B2P. All right. B2P simply means beginners to pro. And let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video. For the meantime, traders, make sure you stay safe and keep winning.